boy. Cheapers. He's a good boy. Are you tired? Yeah, because you're out all night. This is night. How come you're not out now? Huh? Yeah, I was uh, cleaning up my com old computer room and it's because it's got where I pack all my stuff, lots of boxes stacked up and the kitten's been digging or something. One of the cats got behind my stand and got into my old receipts from 2017 and 18, so they're a big mess. Uh, I have a couple, I used to collect matchbooks. I had my dad's collection. This is some I collected. I had three boxes and when the roof leaked in the back with my good roof job, uh, this box got a little damaged, but I used to save boxes to hold them. These old, this and old, like, rubbers or shoes. I don't know what this one is. Uh, but it's got some of my matches, and I'm thinking about, I'm going to just put all these, well, I'm going to go through them, but I'm going to just go ahead and uh, list most of them and uh, see what they become. I just didn't want to keep them any longer. I got too much junk, and I'm going to start thinning stuff out. But, uh, yeah, some neat matches. Thought maybe I'd show a few of them. Let's figure this out. Oh, what do we got here? How focused is that? Terribly focused. That looks pretty good. Shorecliff, Pismo Beach, Florida, or, uh, not Florida, California. Jeez, I can't even read right anymore. This is a typical butterfly pack. Uh, what's this one? I can't read it. Can you read it? It's got some sickness. These things can get that. Uh, Hallmark? Cavalier Lounge and Dining Room. Air Conditioned. Hallmark Manor. Hmm. Not sure why I kept it. This is why I kept it. It's one of these ones that squeeze together. Pretty cool. Can't remember what they're called. I have several of these. Uh, you know, it's uh, what's some Benihai, Benihana of Tokyo. No matches left in it. Oh shoot. Um, Thunderbird Motel, Chicago. I used to have an Al Capone matchbook. Sold it for 75 bucks through that Bill Pulpa deck. Kind of wished I had it back again. Um, Talisman. I don't know where that's from. Kind of cool. See, there's those cool black stemmed matches in there. HBO! No matches. Uh, I don't know where all these came from over the years of going to the auctions and stuff. Uh, some may have came from my grandmother's, from her vacations, but I'm not really sure anymore. It's been too long. Can't remember. Uh, Mr. Gibby's. Mr. Gibby's. Look at that cool biplane. Flint, Michigan. Hey, that name sounds familiar. Southwest or South Street Brewery. Satan's Pony. That's why I probably kept that one. Uh, Comet Safety Matches. They're black tip. Pretty cool. Uh, what's this? The Comedy Store. Pretty neat. Las Vegas. Uh, Union Pacific Railroad. Listen to Matt part-time picker in the background. Women of Distinction. Amelia Earhart. My dad loved her because he loved planes. I'm piling up too many piles here. They're going to fall off. Uh, Tarantino's. Hmm, why would I keep that? Probably no relation. Uh, TH. Do not know what that is. <laughs> I kept it because it's got writing on the match. It's not really a feature match, but... but uh, Sunset Brandon Hotel, or Motel, Brandon, M Maine. M-A-N? That would be Maine, right? Or is it Manitoba or something? Oh, it, maybe it is. It says host Albert and Marie Judd. Huh. Is that, would that be a Canadian place? 72A now? Maybe it is Maine. M A N. That seems funny. Whoa. Oh, what's this one? Aqua proof water resistant matches. These are kind of cool. They got like weird waxy heads that protect the stuff. 
I had a few sugar packets. I used to have more of these. Uh, this is the New York World's Fair, 64 to 65. And I have a biplane, the soap with camel, you know, Snoopy's plane. How long is this going to go on? I guess for until I run out of matches now. Pizzeria Napolitana. Coppola's. That's why I kept that. Because Francis Ford Coppola. Nicholas Coppola. Or Christopher Coppola. Wait. Which one's Nicholas Cage? He's a Coppola. Wellman House. Jamestown, New York. Little matchbook. Swedish. Those are always Swedish if you see these. This is probably also Swedish. They usually have these little grid patterns on the back. A Met Sugar Packet. Uh, what's this one? Elbow Beach Surf Club, Bermuda. Nice. Always wanted to go there, and no, I never did. Uh, Allied Movers, right? Is this Allied or just Moving Company? Trust your Allied Man. Yeah, that's what it is. Buffalo vicinity. Pretty cool. Another one of those kind, but it's also got pink, like a false, real thin wood match. You see it? Sorry, lighting ain't great, but artwork on the inside. Uh, Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadians. My dad loved Guy Lombardo. That's why I kept this matchbook, but it's starting to get some sickness to it. Uh, what's this one? Uh, some Asian place. Imperial Hotel Tokyo. Pretty cool. Uh, and here's some regular old safety matches. Ohio Blue Tip Vintage. World Trade Center. I've had several of these. The club at the World Trade Center. That's, uh, I guess they're just wood matches. I don't know what ah, Here's a cool mini cassette style. Max L. <laughs> Pretty cool chrome oxide tape. Uh, and then we got uh, Hamilton Island, Great Barrier Reef, Australia. Uh, there they go. They're falling all over now. Gollywog Lounge. Now, I believe that's a racial slur because uh, it's also what Credence was known for before they became Credence Clearwater. Supposedly, according to John Fogarty, their record company slapped that name on there, but I don't know how true that is. Uh, what's this one? Dragon incense matches. They're just incense. They're in a foil thing. Pretty cool. Oh, hold on. Ocasic. I only kept that because of the cars. Rick Ocasic. I use, like, my complete matchbook. I don't really like collecting match covers. I mean, if I found something cool, I would have kept it probably. But somebody wrote in these. These came from one certain estate. I think I bought a load, a big lot off eBay once, so way back when. I don't remember and took out what I wanted. I was looking for funeral home matchbooks. I have a separate, a pretty decent collection. You know, not decent. 50 packs or something maybe in the back. Carl's Duck Farm. Pretty cool. Aww. There's what they do to their ducks. A dirty secret. This seems like a feature book. It's not. Food, liquors, and atmosphere. Fine liquors. Let's just set the camera down while it's on, Thomas. Uh, some of the Canadian, or the Royal Guard, and a double-decker bus. Some matches in that one. Um, brightest spot in town. These were smart, sparkling matches. I probably used them all when I was younger. Some of these I've had since I was a kid. I mean, a lot of them. That's why I started, because I got into them and then found out my dad had a big collection. But they, uh, these sparkle. Some kind of foreign pack from somewhere. 1967. Hmm. Here is a flower one. Whoa. Untie match play. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. What's on this side? Bryant and May. Specially matches. Huh. Here's a cool, uh... Heaven, it's like a discotheque, I think. Pittsburgh, PA, 1980. Wish I wouldn't have wrote on them. <laughs> Pink. Uh, what's this one? Uh, the Aero Squadron, Fort Columbus. Cool. 
Gatorland Alligator Farm. That's of course be Florida. Here's some cool rival dog food matches. Clear top lid. Tasty chunk dinners. Mmm. Uh, what's this one? Low and brow, I believe, is what this is. Oh no, it isn't. It's Reynolds wrap. That's pretty cool. I forgot I had that. I'll forget a lot of these. Rainbow, I believe that's another club of some kind. What's it say? Rainbow room. Rainbow and stars. Rainbow promenade and rainbow suites. Rockefeller Plaza, New York City. Bumpus Drug, because uh, Roger Bumpus does Squidward's voice, and he's also a uh, voice in, uh, you know, Heavy Metal the movie, he does voices. Cool. Drug and Emporium. Now oh, this is cool too, the Boxing Cat Grill, thought that was cool. Of course I kept it because it was a cat. And I'm a cat. Pizza you can't refuse, Godfather's Pizza. I don't know where that was. Another tube of matches. Palmco. Red, white, and blue. It was from 1976. I've had them for probably since I was a kid, too. Uh, Chin Zansos. It's going to be harder and harder to sell these now. <laughs> probably keep a few. Oops, there. This is a <laughs> when I was a year old. <laughs> it's a funny looking match. We won't open this matchbook. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the picture without the context of what the other thing is. And I'm pretty sure you can probably guess. The sense of humor of our ancient ancestors 50 years ago. There's a horoscope one, Libra. It doesn't have any matches in it. So it'd be just a match for cover. Hilton, why is my focus so bad? Hilton International. Well, O'Malley's Melkers, isn't she a beauty? Just dumped the matches all through my box down there. <laughs> for Matt, I think this is some kind of reissued matchbook. I don't know. I've had it for several years, but I don't know much about it. Ethan Chopper Dentist. I guess I better leave it out so I can pick all the mat. Eh, I'm not going to pick them back up. Put them in there when I clean out the box. Niall Hilton in Cairo. This might come from my grandmother's. Pretty cool. If they're written on, then they didn't come from my grandmother's. It came from that lot I bought of people going on vacation, or people gave them matches. Now, see, that's got Arabic or whatever written across the matches. That's pretty cool. Um, what's this one? I think it's a cigarette company. I don't know why it's bagged. Oh, man. Uh, see, it looks like a uh, lighter. I'm not sure what, a restaurant or something, I suppose, but I, uh, just a slide too. That came from that lot, 1979. Uh, I put it in there because metallic stuff has a habit of aging worse when it's exposed all the time. Vulcan matches. Hmm, I don't know why I would say that because I'm a Star Trek nerd at heart. Uh, what's this? Uh, man, this focus sucks. Pretty cool, though. Hmm, I can't read it. Sun. Gimaganano Towers. I have no idea where that is. Dorf Plaza. Oh, this is some other place. Made in Kenya. Kind of cool, isn't it? Kenya Matchbook. You ever see a Kenya Matchbook? Let's see what color matches are there. A, a dark blue. Oh, what's this one? There's a Kukan. Hotel Abala. Abila. One. Look at that cool San Diego County long one. Uh, a plain thing. Uh, it's a matchbook cover. Cover. <laughs> uh, Falls Car Wash. Supersonic Falls Car Wash. Calahoga. Calahoga Falls, Ohio. Is that Ohio? Oh wait. Yep, Ohio, it's an O, that's definitely. There's it. Ontario. Uh, the Brass Frog. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is Schroeder's Tap Room. It's a, you pull those matches out of there somehow. I'm really not, I think there's a piece missing. I don't really remember. It's kind of cool though. There, 
pull it, pull quick. Oh, I see. You just pull them out, and they're supposed to strike. Never tried one. They probably wouldn't work now. They might. Atlantis Restaurant, uh, San Diego, California. Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's another one of them. Uh, Benihana Apokio without the guy's picture, and that's just black. Oh no, that's Corey Jamestown. That's where Dad worked when I was a kid. I made filing cabinets. He had a whole garage full of them because he used to he used to sell this dented and scratched real cheap. They did for some reason they never refurbished them or nothing. And then one day he offered. He said, "Well, they should sell those." So the his foreman took his idea and uh, I don't know if he made any money off it but he uh, got the credit for it and they started to sell him the knockoffs but Corey Jamestown is a very uh, prestigious company for office stuff my aunt Virginia had one in her business in Florida from or wherever she worked corporation um, a butterfly again I'm just gonna throw it back in there don't remember what this is hold on let's see it has to say somewhere it is the Rainbow Room Rockefeller Center. Here's another Swedish mat box for Kirim Marshall Hair Design. Cool. These would say right, right there. It's a Made in Sweden. Oh, what's this one? Another, oh, it's, <laughs> it just threw in there. You knew it was going to happen, didn't you? Mark Twain Manor. Uh, another weird one. Pencil. Oh, uh, pencil. Pencil, wait, was it? Pencil, I can't say Peninsula. <laughs> Peninsula Nightclub, Peninsula, Ohio. Uh, oh, dang it, quit putting them back in there. Castle Harbor, Bermuda. Uh, RCB, Rogers County Bank. Uh, there's got to be a reason I kept this besides that. And it's... A feature, Buddy 24 hour banking service. Nice. Almost done. Hold your horses. I suppose if you stayed this long, you must be interested. Another Swedish box. I can't read it. It's got a native or just like a Greek guy. I think he's holding a torch. So it's like a uh, the back's all peeled off. That's still pretty cool. I think that came from the auction. Oh, what's this one here? Another Asian one. Uh, oh, this means front. Oh my God, my hands are working. <laughs> Jesus. Tomo Datuchi Domo Morigato. Thank you very much, old Mr. Roboto. Fortune match. Oh, they have fortunes on them. No, nope, there's just one fortune inside. You will have to choose between two lovers, and I don't even want one, really. Sleepy Hollow Motel, Culpepper, Virginia. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Royal York, New Wing. They built a new wing? Toronto. Hmm, cool. There's a beaver. GTE Phone Mart. I remember going there at least once or twice with my family to Oil City to pick up a phone. I remember trying to get them convinced that we needed a candlestick phone. <laughs> but they didn't go for it. <laughs> There's another Big Ben. Big Ben, look, Big Ben Parliament. Almost. Yeah, about three or four, well, maybe three or four, maybe five. Tumbleweed Motel. Cache Creek, B.C., British Columbia. Hmm. No, don't put it back in there. Be pulling it back out. The Black Cat. Of course, you know why. They, they stole Felix. Uh, what's this one? Cox Gateway Motel. Uh, Gatlingburg, Tennessee. I was there when I was a kid. I probably got that. Circle K Motel. Uh, when I was there, they had the uh, police museum. It had Buford Puster's burn up Corvette in there. Plains, Georgia. You know who was famous from there, don't you? Best president, ex best post president we ever had. <laughs> Triangle Motel, Grayling, Michigan. Cool, another Swedish. Can't probably read it. Little camera. And the last thing, oh no, there's two things left. 
This is a matchbook for Universal Pictures Company, Golden Anniversary Jubilee, 1912 to 1962, and I think that's the one of the heads of there, whoever he was. Does it say on the back? Heck no, Spartacus. That's a, you know, uh, <clears throat> oh, hold on, gotta go think. This is a sad fact to getting old, that uh, I just got the uh, DVD Blu-ray set for who I'm trying to think of, and I can't even think of the person that directed The Shining right now. That's how bad my memory's been getting. I draw complete blanks. Maybe I should be more concerned. Spartacus, Backstreet, Stanley Kubrick, <laughs> Flower Drum Song. Hey, I just saw that videotape. They had that videotape down at Goodwill. Uh, Lover Come Back, The Outsider, Cape Fear, the original, Touch of Mink. And the opera. Huh. Well, I hope you enjoyed my match collection. There's more where this came from. Someday, when I go through them, I'll tape the other ones. Least watched video ever. Least liked video ever.